Greetings in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our Lord and our Savior. My name is Pastor Gene Dantus. It is a privilege for me to bring to you today LTG. In the book of Mark, chapter 16, verse 15 down to 18, Jesus said to his disciples, Go into all the world, proclaim the gospel to all the creation. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Verse 17 says, Miraculous signs will follow to those who believe these signs. In my name, they will cast out demons, they will speak new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay hand on the sick, and the sick will be well. Now, I was reading from Modern King James Version. Today, our show is going to be focused on teaching us principles that we can use uh, in deliverance ministry. But before you go and do anything in deliverance ministry, you need to watch this show. We're going to take a break, and when we come back, our guest here is going to expound more on what I just tell you, what I just told you. God bless you. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Praise the Lord, we are back here on uh, our set here today with uh, Pastor Robert Barrett, uh, one who preached a uh, numerous amount of time here at the Lord's House Ministry, and we're talking about deliverance ministry. Today we bring you some, uh, some uh, principles of, um, um, in, uh, in the move uh, of God or things that you need to know before you go and uh, start um, having deliverance. But Pastor, and um, let's talk about this. Um, where do we start um, first here? Um, uh, moving in, in deliverance ministry does not imply for me to just anybody or anytime there's a, there's a, somebody says, ouch, I don't feel good for us to just run up to them and try to uh, administer deliverance. Well, what should one do exactly? Um, when we get to this point, uh, um, how do we know basically that uh, deliverance is needed? Um, <laughs> you just gave me a loaded question there. Mm -hmm. um, well, deliverance is most times needed when it is recognized mm -hmm. that there is um, some form of suppression, mm -hmm. depression, mm -hmm. or oppression, oppression, where there is mm -hmm. something that is altering or affecting mm -hmm. the person from focusing, looking mm -hmm. on to Jesus mm -hmm. that might cause them to be suppressed. God is not, for example, the scripture says God has not given us a spirit of fear, mm -hmm. but a power, love, and a sound mind when mm -hmm. there is um, a, 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 a sense of uh, a pulling down mm -hmm. or, or, or things that cause or would result in destruction. Mm -hmm. Those are the things that we look at and we look for. And, and, and to be honest, uh, these things we won't be able to fully recognize without the leading of the Spirit, without the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. opening our eyes to be able to recognize what's going on and what's happening with an individual. Mm -hmm. So it is imperative that number one thing that I would tell anyone that you must have is that you must have the Holy Ghost. Amen. You must have the Holy Ghost. Jesus made it very clearly that you must be born of the water and of the Spirit to enter the kingdom of God. But not only that, but mm -hmm. um, in the book of Romans, it says that those that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. And if you do Amen. not have the Spirit of God, you are none of His. Amen. So it is imperative that we do have mm -hmm. the Spirit of God. You must be filled mm -hmm. with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. because it is the Holy Ghost that enables us to be able to move. Mm -hmm. Bear me clearly, we are not out to do this to make a name for ourselves. Amen. The goal has never been to make a name for ourselves, mm -hmm. but deliverance is to set the captive free that mm -hmm. they can be saved mm -hmm. that it can that they can fully enjoy the life that god has called them to mm -hmm. so this is not for um, mm -hmm. fame or fortune but the deliverance ministry is to see lives change set free be by god's power before we talk about the danger of of just moving out and start administering deliverance um to people 
there's a scripture in Acts chapter uh, 1 verse 8. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Yes. It says, but you shall receive power. Yes. The Holy Ghost coming upon you, and you shall be witnesses to me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and to the end of the world. Amen. I believe that before we can go, we have to be sent. Yes. Pastor, question here. Uh, do you believe in the cessation of the spirit of the move of God or you believe that gives uh, uh, continues in the body of Christ? Because the reason why I say that today is because we have a lot of skeptics that are watching. Yes. Some of them are secessionists. They believe that gifts ends with the apostles and there's no deliverance right now. But here we're seeing here that he says you shall receive power and we know the word power is the word uh, dunamis. Mm -hmm. So right. And, and uh, it's some, some version, I think the King James Version says, after the Holy Ghost have come upon you. So you cannot receive power before you, are, you receive the Holy Spirit. And that's what you were saying earlier. Yes, correct. Mm -hmm. And then when we talk about the danger here in the body of Christ, we saw the sons of Sceva. Yes. They try to operate uh, in, in an anointing. Yes. And we also saw Simon in the Bible. Yes. He wanted to buy the power. Yes. Talk about that, Pastor. Um, well, uh, the first one I want to talk about is the sons of Sceva. The Bible says that the sons of Sceva, uh, they saw Paul operating and doing these things. And when they saw it, then they took it upon themselves not to go and try to do it. Mm -hmm. Funny enough, it, I mean, it's all through the book of Acts when you read it, where you see accounts, Simon the social being one, as, we did, as you just said. Mm -hmm. But um, even with the sons of Sceva, they saw the operation of the power of God, and they mm -hmm. also wanted to do it. Mm -hmm. And so because they saw it, liked mm -hmm. it, and wanted to do it, they ran to go and try to do it mm -hmm. themselves, not being fully equipped. And, when they, and because they were not fully equipped, then the enemy recognized that they had no power, mm -hmm. had no authority, and then the enemy beat them up and not only beat them up, mm -hmm. but then ripped off their clothes and they ran away naked, which is interpreted or, mm -hmm. or understood as to being embarrassed or to be put ashamed. We're not dealing with an enemy, ladies and gentlemen, who, do, who, who does <laughs> not know you behind the scenes. If you do not have a prayer life, if you are connected to God, mm -hmm. you do not come into deliverance ministry. Yes. You do not come into the area that deliverance is what I call front line. <laughs> this is the front line. This is where this is ground zero, where you're seeing it up in front and you're coming against the enemy toe to toe. And if you're not filled with the power of God, mm -hmm. with the Holy Ghost, you will be destroyed. The enemy is going to ravish you. We don't want anyone to go and try to do this and if you're not uh, first and foremost filled with the Holy Ghost mm. and this is also not something that you want to run into because you see it and you like it yeah. this is not about feelings or like I didn't call myself into deliverance ministry mm. and I don't believe pastor did either but it's something that the Lord puts upon you he puts a fire yeah. in you and you it, he, he gives you a burden if I would yes. say it that way yes. pastor yes. I that agree. I hate to see people oppressed ask mm. me why from the long time I hate to see people oppressed I hate mm -hmm. to see people uh, being mistreated and being put down mm -hmm. and so the Lord because of that heart mm -hmm. you know he will call somebody into that area who's mm -hmm. not afraid and who's willing to be used of him to fight deliverance ministry is a fight sometimes they don't come out autumn they don't come out every you know right away some of it it takes time some of it it deals with layers some of it it's different things mm -hmm. but if you're not concerned about people souls and like uh, the Bible said that Paul said it, snatching them out of the fire mm -hmm. and hating even the very garments that are spotted by the flesh, mm -hmm. this is not your kind of ministry. Uh, uh, God has a ministry for everyone and not everyone is called totally into deliverance ministry. You, you understand? Uh, 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 Jesus moved in, in love. Yes, he did. And that is the source of deliverance ministry. Yes, yes. You love people enough to want to see them free. Mm -hmm. You love them enough to want to know that, okay, there's something there that is affecting your, your regular cognitive ability. That's affecting your life to be whole. God, hallelujah. I Praise thank you. Um, that there's something there that is hindering you from being all you're supposed to be in God. And 
that love is what now will begin to the, the Lord will begin to work upon to help now to bring his power down to bring the deliverance that the person and the individual need God loves us and because he loves us he wants the very best for us mm -hmm. so he doesn't want anything to suppress oppress us or depress us but he wants us to be free he wants it's, us it's, to be free. It's not in God's nature to see anyone perish. No, it is not. That's why he sent his only son. For God son. so loved. Yes, yes he, he did. He sent his only son. Amen. So the next question, so we, let's just review a little bit. So, you know, uh, we cannot give you a formula. Yes, correct. For deliverance ministry because that does not exist. Somebody once said, well, just say in the name of Jesus. But, you know, if you don't have the anointing in you, if you don't have the Holy Spirit. Yes, and if you don't even believe in what you're doing, yes. there's no power behind Amen. it. Because it takes time for God to build you up. It takes a lifetime process for God to bring you to the level where you are today. Amen. This is not something you just begin to flow in and then expect to see to do what some of the big, big ministers are doing right now. Amen. You know, this is something that God prepares you for and over time develops in your life. Amen. Because... There are different kinds of demons. There are, there are different yes, levels. Sir. Yes, sir. Um, you might be ready for this level, but at the moment, you're not ready for the other Amen. level. Amen. Amen. Um, somebody once said, new level, new, new devil. New devil. Yes, that's so, right. So now, we were at the Sons of Sceva, and uh, now Simon wanted to buy from Peter. Yes, and there are people out there that are just like Simon. Mm -hmm. There are people out there right now who what they want is they want their anointing. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to do, they don't want to pay, pay the, the price, price to receive that anointing. This, the anointing costs. Yes. Yeah, I, I say it all the time to my students in school. I say salvation is free. Yeah. The anointing costs. costs you have to pay a price for this. And not everyone is willing to pay the price mm -hmm. to um, operate in deliverance or in any ministry for that capacity. Can you give us an example of what kind of price do you have to pay? Um, <laughs> some of the prices I think for myself personally that I've had to um, pay the price is um, for standing for holiness. Mm -hmm. um, having a standard of holiness when everyone uh, wants to go and do their own thing. Yes. When everyone wanted to commit fornication, I wasn't out there committing fornication. Mm -hmm. I was uh, about to tell my business now, but yeah. I was a virgin well, when I got married. Very important. Very important. And I just got married last yes. year in yes. 2014. What is it? In 15, we're in 2014. I got married. And Amen. I got married to one, I had my, only, my first wife. Amen. My only wife. That's right. Amen. Uh, but I was a virgin when I got married. I waited that's until right. it was time for me to that's get married. Right. You I know, that's those are some important. of those prices. That's very important to live a consecrated life. Yes, you have to. Because you the, have the to. anointing is precious. The thing about the anointing, it takes a long time to cultivate. Yeah. But it, it, takes only time. Can, it can come out in a second. Yes, it can. It yes, can it come can. out in a second. Yes, if you can. make a mistake, you start over. Yeah. Let me explain it for somebody who's watching right now, who's under the anointing. They might understand me more. At time, you go to periods of uh, drought. Yes. And during those periods of drought, you see how hard it is for you to get back to where you were. Yes. At times, you lose your tracks. I think when you are in transition, for example, mm -hmm. from one level to another level, yes. you, you may lose your track. Yes. It, uh, and you see how hard it is before you can regain consciousness yes. of where you were yeah. or where God is taking you. Yeah. So if you lose the anointing totally, it's even worse. Yes. That, it, it has not happened to me in Africa that it never happens Amen. to me uh, Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. But the anointing cannot be fabricated. No, you cannot. cannot buy it. No, you cannot. It has to be, become genuine. And genuine, now uh, it, it, it's a fruit yeah. of consecration. Yes. And based on your calling and what God has called you for. Yes, amen. Pastor, do you believe that everybody is called for deliverance ministry? No. Okay. No. I believe that everyone can do a level of deliverance, but not everyone's called into the deliverance ministry. Because God knows what he built us for. So I believe we can, somebody can, uh, do you believe that somebody can administer first aid? Yes, until, yes, until yes, the paramedics correct, come in. correct, okay, you can administer first aid, but not everyone is called into certain mm -hmm. levels of, de mm -hmm. of 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 uh, deliverance ministry because Amen. it does take um not just an anointing but it does take a level of knowledge and understanding mm -hmm. of how these things operate for you to be able to um operate and to do effective deliverance ministry. I believe there are signs you need to know, yes. Um, 
God will teach you these signs. Yes, he will. He will teach you these signs so you know how he communicates with you. For yes. example, when I just started, I started feeling the anointing rising up my feet. Mm -hmm. Like I'm literally standing in a pot of electricity yeah. or water. Yeah. You know, it, there's a feel that yes. I'm standing into it. Yes. Um, until one day it reaches the top of my head yes. and I cannot move for like, I could not move for 20 minutes. My Lord. But the most important thing is there's a signal that God gives me yes. before I lay hand on people. Yes. And then I grow up, I, I, I practice it, even though people come here, they're saying that, oh, I need prayer, I need this and that, oh, I need this, I need pastor to pray for me. I said, I can't, I can't pray for you unless the Holy Spirit, unless God releases me. Mm -hmm. Talk about that, Pastor, because we started talking about that at the break. Um, the Bible says different operation, different administration, but the same spirit. Mm -hmm. In other words, um, that the, the Lord has different ways that he uses his service to do different things. Mm -hmm. um, I've heard of um, men and women of God that said that they felt the heat on their hands. Uh -huh. um, others don't even lay hands. Some mm -hmm. just speak the word mm -hmm. and command certain things to happen. Yes. You know, and it's different things. And what we're here to do, we're not here to 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 say there's a specific way but yet again i'm gonna uh, uh, emphasize that all of this is based off of the leading of the holy spirit yes you can pray and say god I, and i heard um prophet brian karn say it this way mm -hmm. when you're uh, when you want to go and figure out what uh the, you know if you are called to deliver this minute he said pray he said to pray and ask the lord how do you use me Mm -hmm. Where? How do you operate through me? Mm -hmm. I personally, I use oil in my ministry a lot. Mm -hmm. I use oil a lot in my ministry when I mm -hmm. pray for people and mm -hmm. do deliverance. I'm a sheet guy and an oil guy. You know, I'm from old school Pentecostal yes, church. Yes, yes. You know, but that's the and then I, I wait fast. for the unction of the Holy Ghost and mm -hmm. the, and the temperature in the atmosphere to be a certain level before I can pray or to administer certain levels of deliverance. You wait for your release. Yes, I wait for my release. It's imperative because I can't do it of my own self. Nothing That's right. will happen. That's right. Nothing That's will happen right. if it's not done by the power of God. And I think this is a clue for somebody who's watching right now yes. that tells you exactly the reason why you never see any fruit. Yeah. Uh, while you minister to anybody, it's for yeah. the simple fact you always go before the Spirit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. For the spirit leading. Oh, yes. You're always trying to think you can do it on your own. Very no. true. There's a certain atmosphere that needs to be built up around you. Yes. There's a presence that needs to be around you. Yes. Just because you have the anointing uh, uh, there, well, is it time to move in the power of the anointing? Yes. There's a presence. Yes. Uh, what's going to do? There are certain things. There are certain deliverances. You have to have the power there Amen. for it to operate. Amen. And uh, so, Pastor, then now um, somebody who's watching. Um, you saying that it is imperative for them to really wait on the release yes. of the Holy Spirit yes. before they go ahead and minister yes. um, to, uh, to um, anybody. Mm -hmm. So now, let's talk about um, dealing with somebody who's under uh, the possession of, a, a, of an unknown spirit. Not unknown spirit, but demonic spirit, for example. Dealing with those people, even though there's no formula, we, the Holy Spirit, uh, usually how would uh, we go about minister to somebody like that, somebody who's doing all kind of stuff, they're saying all kind of words, they, 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 they're, they're in the right, not in the right mind, they are literally possessed. Um, the first have you found that in your ministry while you yes I actually have I found it um, a few times in ministry where mm -hmm. someone uh, where a demon manifests in a service and mm -hmm. um, when you're dealing with that the first thing I would tell anyone on the uh, a laity or anyone that's not in ministry is that don't as they say don't try this at home yes um, like I said uh, ministers or those who operate in deliverance ministry God has anointed them like I said before anointed mm -hmm. them for it um, but um, and so we know how to recognize it. You get trained, you know, uh, how to recognize it, how to see, you know, rec uh, to know what it is, but then how to speak to it mm -hmm. and then to find out the necessary information needed in order for you to cast it out. Mm -hmm. There are some things, um, and I will say this, there's sometimes that you will recognize certain things. I, there's times I've been in services before, and mm -hmm. I can tell certain people are possessed with demons, mm -hmm. but the Lord has not given me the release to pray for them as of yet. Yes. You know, and I, and, I, and I have to stress that the Bible says to everything, there's a season and a time for every purpose underneath the heaven. Yes. Some people, there some things 
Uh, he does not give the, re the Holy Ghost doesn't give the release mm -hmm. to do it at mm -hmm. that particular time. Mm -hmm. And then there's other times that the atmosphere is right, that everything's that everything's ready, mm -hmm. and this is the time for the deliverance for that particular person. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. We had a situation even at our church mm -hmm. that we knew that a particular person, um, the two person that had come to our church had been demon possessed, mm -hmm. but the Lord didn't release us, and the anointing wasn't there at, at that mm -hmm. time mm -hmm. to be able to pray for the deliverance for that person. But we kept them in prayer. Amen. You, you understand? Yes. Until there was a time that we were in inner that we were in a shut in, mm -hmm. and the person came for, and they came. To that service and we had been fasting and praying that day and seeking the face of the Lord the anointing came in there and it didn't come right away mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. understand but uh, in time there was a moment that the anointing was there and God began and God delivered that person mm -hmm. in that in that service from that demonic possession that they did have mm -hmm. did we know that it was there yes we did yes. was it time to address it no it wasn't Mm -hmm. And so, um, with deliverance ministry, we depend mm -hmm. solely on the Holy Ghost, the unction of the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. The Bible talks about Paul mm -hmm. when Paul like, was in the city, mm -hmm. and there was a woman that was that had a spirit of divination. Mm -hmm. The first time he saw her, he did not cast that demon out, mm -hmm. but he said after a while she kept doing it, kept doing it, kept doing it, until there was one day mm -hmm. that Paul said, "All right, it's done. That enough is enough." He cast out the devil, and he said, "You have to go within the hour, and within the hour, the woman." was completely delivered yes. but there was an appointed time, time. for that deliverance I and so this is not us running up to go do this but us being led by the spirit mm -hmm. in order to do this now you ask and say pastor how do you know mm -hmm. these types of things um, I, like I said, number one, you have to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Number two, you have to have a strong prayer life, a life of not just praying for yourself, but a level of life. consecrated life, but a life of intercession. Mm -hmm. It's in intercession that we learn to recognize the voice of God mm -hmm. and the leading of the Spirit of God, to mm -hmm. know how to pray mm -hmm. and to know what we ought to pray. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a life of intercession that you're standing in the gap and know how to stand in the gap, mm -hmm. you will not be effective in deliverance ministry the third thing i would say is to like i said before is to be led by the spirit mm -hmm. and um that it's by his power that yes. we do this so we wait like we were talking about before on the mm -hmm. unction mm -hmm. of the holy ghost before mm -hmm. we begin to administer into deliverance ministry mm -hmm. the fourth thing i would say is that you have to know your word the bible says study to show yourself approved on the god mm -hmm. a workman needed not be ashamed rightly dividing mm -hmm. the word you got to know that word because that devil's gonna try different things and if you don't know the word mm -hmm. and know what the word says about demons and about how they operate yes. then you will be succumbed by that and or he'll try to try you so we don't need that and then um and then number five i would definitely encourage you to study on deliverance mm -hmm. there are um books. now you there are books they don't teach you specifically word for word what to do per se because they're going to tell you to rely on the spirit but there are um i heard of one i haven't i haven't fully read it yet mm -hmm. but a book uh, by uh kimberly daniels that is the mm -hmm. the 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 the, the demon dictionary and basically it what it does is it helps us to mm -hmm. to 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 basically you see the symptoms and then you can you know be able to know the name of that because some mm -hmm. of these spirits some mm -hmm. demons are ancient spirits right. some are from different places and different mm -hmm. things and when you don't know what they are it'll mm -hmm. take more time mm -hmm. for deliverance to take place there's something you just don't you're just not going to be it's like a doctor mm -hmm. the, the doctor has been trained mm -hmm. to help and to heal the sick mm -hmm. right but there's some parts and some things that they may not have the area or the uh, expertise in right. so then God will then so then they have to go and study mm -hmm. or the or they have to go and you know find the information is that's how it is even for deliverance ministry mm -hmm. that's something you gotta you gotta you got to wait on the Lord or the Lord yes, will reveal good. to you what needs to be done pertaining to the situation so now um, we are we are learning a whole lot Pastor. amen we are learning a whole lot in in what we are trying to say here is not like we're trying to make this thing into a taboo. Amen. But that's what we've learned yeah. throughout the yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, it's not us in operation. Amen. It's, it's the power of God. And if you don't know the tactics that the enemy uses, Amen. then you can't fight the enemy. And Amen. we were not built to fight the enemy. It's the, uh, it's the Holy Spirit that empowers us yes. to fight. And, uh, and it empowers us to fight. And if you're going to go without the Spirit, then yes. 
you flowing into witchcraft. Yeah, amen. Because now the knowledge, the head is going to flow. Amen. What you need, according to what Pastor just said, you need to be prepared beforehand. Yes. Uh, there are a lot of books by uh, Derek Prince. You can yes. also research yes. and uh, read those books. Yes. They are very important and, and they teach you a whole lot about deliverance. Uh, there's also uh, books from Lester Samuels. Yes. Um, yes. You can read those books. They are extremely good books that's going to help you advance in your knowledge Amen. and and live a fasted life that's going to allow you yes. to stay there in 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 the pool correct and and sometimes before deliverance god can show you what's happening amen you need to wait for the utterance yes and you also need to listen while you are your ministry amen yes definitely most definitely so uh, we are happy to bring you these things today but we are also humble to understand not to bring you a formula. Yes. Because you cannot do this with a formula. Amen. Amen. This is not witchcraft. Amen. The thing with the spirit, when the Holy Spirit flows in you, you yes. know what you're doing. Yes. But with the other people, yes. I don't want to mention any name here, you are possessed Amen. by some spirit to do this. Amen. But the Holy Ghost is the spirit of knowledge, Amen. wisdom, counsel, yes. fear of the Lord. Yes. You know, uh, Revelation, uh, the, everything that is said in, 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 in Isaiah, I believe, uh, 11, um, 2. So, now, Pastor, we are administering deliverance out of church. And all of a sudden, you're afraid. All of a sudden, there's a sense of fear that mm -hmm. comes to take you out. Mm -hmm. This is <laughs> very important. Because if you're not ready to fight, mm -hmm. if you don't know what you're doing, mm -hmm. you don't know that the enemy, mm -hmm. because the enemy brings fear. Yes. And if you're not truly under the power, yes. you crack. Yeah, yeah, you will. You dead. Yeah, yeah, you will. You dead or you're going to suffer some major consequences. Yes. And, there's, and that's why I said before, mm -hmm. you don't tackle, you, uh, do, you don't start a fight or mm -hmm. initiate a fight that you're mm -hmm. not equipped for that's or it. that the Lord didn't put you or send you that's into. Yes. Um, some things, some areas in some field, I don't touch. Mm -hmm. I do not touch, not mm -hmm. because God didn't anoint me, I'm not anointed, mm -hmm. but because God has not released me into that area that's and right. because it is not that timing yet. To that's operate right. at that's those right. places, that's so right. certain things I stay. Uh, the best thing I can tell you is stay your lane, and, and and be led of the spirit. Um, that's actually happened before. Where mm -hmm. um, I've been in a service before, and then all of a sudden, this unknowing. Now uh, you have some people who get nervous, and that's just the regular preaching jitters. Mm -hmm. But the, you know, when you get that fear that runs across a room. Mm -hmm. Now I know the word of God, and the word of God said He's not giving me the spirit of fear. That's right. But a power of the psalm. So I know that and, uh, that that demonic activity in the area so then then my holy ghost my personal holy ghost rises up when it comes to the atmosphere that's right you understand and my anointing actually operates in atmospheres mm -hmm. that um that that literally i charge and set an atmosphere by the power of the holy ghost so that deliverance can take place even in seats mm -hmm. because i've seen even in ministering um, and, and speaking and praying over large congregations that deliverance start to take place, that people start to get set free, even while they're in the seats. That's the anointing that's upon me that the Lord has put, mm -hmm. that, I, that I carry. You know, but these types of things now, um, that, that's fear. That's something that I have to immediately address and arrest by the power of the Holy Ghost and mm -hmm. cast that down Lord, so it Lord. does not begin to work anything else in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. God is very particular about atmosphere and, yes. and what's going on in, the pre in, in services and things like that. And sometimes you might even call us crazy because mm -hmm. you have some deliverance preachers that don't like certain things going on in the mm -hmm. services, mm -hmm. not because they're trying to be mean, but they know the atmosphere yeah, and the temper yeah, must be ordered. Mm -hmm. God is not the author of confusion. And when you see confusion starting up even mm -hmm. in true pastor, mm -hmm. then you know the enemies at work when you start seeing certain things going wrong mm -hmm. unaware that just would never normally happen mm -hmm. you know the enemies at work and then you have to address those things and shut them down by the power of the Holy Ghost one thing that is important for you to know tonight there ought to be order in the be. deliverance set must be. meaning must be who's in charge yes who's got authority over the house yes meaning who's appointed Yes. Over the house. Yes. 
And the person that comes to administer, if it's another pastor, is flown under the authority. Correct. In the house and is released to do it. Correct. The enemy is extremely organized. Yes. You go into certain deliverance um, settings, you, you find 10,000 people trying to say, come out. Oh, Jesus. It, it does not work like that. They gain strength. They're not going anywhere because there's, there's no order there. Yep. So we have to learn these principles. Yes. And be humble. Otherwise, we're going to get hurt. Yes. We're going to get hurt because we try to go out there and do things too soon. There's a, another eminent danger we need to talk about in the body of Christ. Quickly, we, our time runs out. The other danger in, in deliverance ministry is mm, 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 mm. when you start ministering mm -hmm. deliverance to somebody and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the spirit attacks you. Because there's no fruit in you at the moment. Either you argued before you come in or, 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 or you do something. And you did not wait for the leading of the Holy Spirit. And you go ahead and you start going on your own. Now the Spirit has gotten you cornered. Because now the Spirit retaliates. Yes. Because you did not wait for God. Yes. You move, and, 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 and this is where people get hurt because yeah. that's one of the reasons we, need, we, we have been preaching here right now. You need to wait for God to yes. really release Amen. you because Amen. those things retaliate, and when they retaliate, they find weaknesses in your life, and Correct. they come in Correct. and they destroy you. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Totally agreed. Um, you must, I mean, and like I said, these are things mm -hmm. that if you're trained properly, mm -hmm. you'll know what to do before you come into services or come into a house. Mm -hmm. If I'm preaching a revival, I'm not coming into a house, not prayed up, not fasted up. I'm not coming into a house with disagreements or arts yes. in my heart towards mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. my brethren or, or, or anything like that. Because like, like, Pastor, like you just said, Pastor, mm -hmm. those are doorways that the enemy will use. Mm -hmm. now, you, you know, and when we go and do deliverance or we're going or I feel that there needs to be deliverance in the house, mm -hmm. I'm bringing a team with me. That's it. So I'm not even coming by myself. You know, when Jesus sent his disciples out, um, he sent them out in pairs. That's it. So you're not doing this on your Be own. Careful. I'm not a wonder. I'm not a one hit wonder or some wonder uh -huh. that you need to look uh -huh. at me and it uh -huh. only comes through me. Uh -huh. But there is a team there. I, I, I'm under a covering. Mm -hmm. You understand? With a team of people and with prayer warriors and intercessors that come with me mm -hmm. to help to administer deliverance. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes. But when yeah. you, when you kn much. unknowingly go in to do these things, um, you don't go into services unrepented, period. Mm -hmm. You don't go into before the Lord. The Bible says, who shall, how shall, who shall ascend into the hills of the Lord mm -hmm. and who shall stand in his holy place? He that have clean hands and a pure heart that have not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor mm -hmm. sworn deceitfully. Mm -hmm. So just coming into the house of God, if you know, when you come into the house of God before you do anything, it is before you know you need to repent you mm -hmm. need to check your own self the bible said if you have art with your brother you're supposed to lay your gift down at the altar and make it right with the brother before you go do something else yes. you're supposed yes. to take care of certain things so that you don't mm -hmm. open yourself up to demonic activity you and understand pastor i know the time runs out but i don't know how much time we have left now uh, uh 34 oh, okay we're closing right now but pastor let's close with this in mind um, you, you have people in the body of Christ that so want to flow in the gifts and deliverance so that their name can come out. Before they leave their house, I'm going to pray for, I'm going to call somebody for ice, I'm going to call seven people for this. You never leave your house with any intention that you're going to administer deliverance. I never leave my house except that before the service while I was in prayer, God warned me. And most of the time, when I step in the church, I forget until the right time when I get the microphone after a while and the Spirit says, Here, here's your green light. But never premeditate or premeditated that I'm going to pray for. I'm going to call seven uh, deaf ears open. I'm going to do this. I'm going to... It, it's not like that. No, it's not. This is not a show. No, it's not, a, not show. a show. It's not Ministry a show. Ministry is not a show. 
and, this and it's, it's, it's critical when you start operating like that, you need to know that it's witchcraft. Um, I would even stress this. I would even mm -hmm. say this, Pastor, mm -hmm. that, um, that that's actually, to be honest, a work of the flesh. Yes. Because if you're premeditating and you're thinking that this is a show, mm -hmm. then you, the Bible says God, God resists the proud. But he gives grace to the humble. So if you're seeking out there, and, and you know, it's the new thing, Pastor. Mm -hmm. It's the in thing now that everyone wants gifts and everybody oh. wants to be known and to be seen. Yes, Ministry yes, is yes. not to be known and to be seen. Jesus said the greatest of you is a servant. Mm -hmm. And if you're not willing to take up a servant's heart and, and, and to truly to do what is needed mm -hmm. in ministry, don't mm -hmm. pick it up. It is mm -hmm. not what this is not. It's better if you go to um, America's Idol or go to one of those secular yeah. venues to go if you want to be known you know go 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 be a YouTube star go yes. be a Facebook star yes. but you don't use God's things God help us today oh. you don't use God's things to make your name big that is where now you're taking the glory and then you yeah. now put yourself under judgment from God I, we don't I, do those things <laughs> We don't seek God's, God's stuff and seek to take the glory. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets the glory but mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I didn't seek to, I didn't even start, I didn't even seek to be in ministry. That's right. I just wanted to That's love right. Jesus. Mm -hmm. That is what my call is, is to love Jesus, to cultivate love in First others for Jesus. I didn't come here, I didn't come for, to, to do this, mm -hmm. but God anoints us for his purpose and his calling. Mm -hmm. So this is not for show. No. This is not to entertain, but it is for the glory of God that souls might, de might be delivered and set free. That is why we do what we do. Amen. That is the source of deliverance. Well, ministry. we are closing with these points right now. The source of ministry is so that we can show ourselves uh, worthy of our calling. Amen. That the, uh, the name of Jesus is glorified. Amen. And when we get there, it's going to say, well done, good and faithful Amen. servant. Amen. Amen. So, if you are blessed by these programs, let us know. Text me on my cell or message me on Facebook. They're going to put the address for you up there right now. Or you can come also to visit the Lord's House Ministry. Or you can also go to Ray My Life, Ray My Word International Ministry. Can you give the address to Ray My so they can uh, go out there and, uh, okay, we got the address right there. Praise God. Um, so they can also go to Rayma Word International Ministry and visit Pastor Barrett and uh, Apostle Daly over there. Yes. Amen. They will be happy to see you. Um, or you can come to the Lord's House Ministry here yes. in Pompano. It, wherever you go, as long as you step into the kingdom, you will know that you step into a kingdom church. Well, we don't have any, we have more word to offer, but we're out of time. So thank you for watching LTG. Louange, témoignage, à gloire, pour bon Dieu. Well, Pastor Bart, I'm going to have to teach him some Creole. I don't know when, but <laughs> I'm going to teach him some Creole, but at least, do you know any Creole, Pastor Bart? Oh, praise the Lord. You know, praise the Lord. Bidi soit l'éternel. Bidi soit l'éternel. We will take care. Take care. God bless you. Well, again, it's my pleasure. Pastor Dentist and Pastor Bart. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you some other time. Take care.